What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Quarren Queen series. I am your Quarren Queen. And I have my co-host, the Quarren Cat. For the next 30 days, I'm going to take you guys on an adventure. A video every single day. While the whole world is struggling with coronavirus, it is a scary time. A lot of people are worried. A lot of people are afraid. A lot of people are hurting. Instead of dwelling our sorrows, I'm going to take you guys on an adventure and a video series that shows you everything that I'm doing every day to have fun and keep my mind off all the crazy things that are going on. Because life is short and even though some bad things are happening right now, we still need to have fun, go outside, and make the best of our daily lives. I know that not every state has the ability to go outside right now, so while I still can, I'm going to take you on my fishing adventures, my shed hunting adventures. Hopefully we find some big ones. We're going to go check our trail cameras and bump into wildlife. We're going to cook. We're going to do a little bit of everything. Please make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a single video. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy the series. Good morning, you guys. I just woke up hair in a messy bun don't look at me <laughs> i'm gonna have my coffee and we're gonna go on a little shed hunting adventure um this is a place i did really well last year so i'm very motivated and i have high hopes we're gonna spend a full day up there uh let's see how it goes i guess right welcome to the corn queen series episode one we're going shed hunting I just want to remind you guys for a second what I am using to keep track of my hike and where I'm going is the Scout to Hunt app. You guys can get it now for free. It's forever free. Um, I'll put a link in the description box. It's my favorite mapping app and it's free so literally you can sign up, download the app and it costs you nothing and I'm going to track myself all day today so that I can find my way back because I'm going to be going on a very long hike. Lord, you guys I've been hiking so hard I'm on mile seven and the pearly white sign of a nice white elk antler just showed up right in front of me I can't even tell what it is yet fingers crossed it's a nice one I'm just so happy mile seven you guys and I haven't seen anything oh. Oh. <laughs> okay one two three oh it looks like it's a good six it's a little broke Oh, like borderline chalky. Let's check it out. There she is. This has been back here for a while and it's a pretty decent shed. Would have been a decent six point. Gosh, I wish it was in a little better shape. Oh, but I'm still so grateful it is better than nothing. I was really worried I was gonna leave empty handed. He's got pretty good fronts. Pretty like a just a good shape to him. I really, for a while on this hike back, I'm like, man, I think I'm going home empty handed. So it feels so good to just find a shed. <laughs> Beautiful shed. So something that is so crazy, you guys, and it just shows you how much luck you have to have for shed hunting. I walked this top ridge up here for the past seven miles. And last year when I walked the same ridge, I found six browns in a day and then came back and found another brown the next day. And today, nothing up there. So, you know, last year the browns were there and they were fresh because the elk were living there and shedding there. This year they're not shedding on that ridge. They could be down here, they could be a ridge over, they could be four ridges over. I don't know what it is, but it just shows you how like it can change year to year. Sometimes you can find the same elk sheds in the same place year after year. Other times they just move around and unfortunately they moved around this year. So I need to try and find them. It's not going to be today because I have a long trek back, but I'm going to have to try different areas and different ridges in these next couple days. Beautiful shed. Gosh, these chalk ones can be so heavy. It's going to be a heavy one to pack out. <laughs> Pretty cool. I think Mother Nature just wants me to have like the most epic chalk garden because I've been finding a lot of chalk lately and I don't usually do that in Utah. Pretty cool though, huh? It's been here for a minute. 
well, and plus we're in the desert, so things get chalked pretty fast. Faster than some other spots. Well, you guys, I am just so happy to not be skunked. Um, that's the good news. <laughs> the bad news, I think I'm going to be out here in the dark. Dang it. I have gone so far. It's one of those things where you don't find a shed and you know there's sheds here and you're so motivated to just find them. That was me all day today. Just crazy, you know, like I said, I had the expectation of last year I found six browns. So it just goes to show you that it could change year to year so easily, you know, like this thing's old, but I'm happy to find it. It's a cool shed. It's gonna look great in my chalk garden at my house. <laughs> and a woman, it's a prerogative to have a little fun. chalky but damn right I'll take it <laughs> oh, I have such a long trek back how am I finding chalk it's crazy I'm here for browns why <laughs> you are coming with me buddy I don't want to hear you're coming with me <laughs> Taking out of here, you guys. It's 6 30 now. The phone's dying. I'm racing the sunset. Wish me luck I get out of here before dark and I don't get lost. Think about how tasty he'd be. And he's only about, let's see. I'd say 50, 60 yards away, I could shoot him with a bow. I swear to God, if one of you jumps on me one more time, I'm gonna freak out! Hope you guys enjoyed that video please stay tuned for more core and queen series they're gonna be going live pretty much every single day i don't know if i'm gonna post them on fridays or saturdays yet we'll kind of figure that out as it goes but i hope you guys enjoyed that first video stay tuned for more like i said every single day it's gonna be good i'm just trying to give you guys some normalcy through all the scary crazy things that are going on right now and I firmly believe, even though it's a time that we all can be very upset, very worried financially, medically, you know, happiness, like everything is just a wreck right now in the country and the world. But I firmly believe that we weren't meant to live, you know, sad or depressed. Life is still so short, whether we get a virus, whether we get in a car accident, whether we get struck by lightning, anything could happen to take our life away from us so easily. Life is so short, we have to make the best of every single day. So that's the meaning behind my series. I hope you guys like it. I hope you're staying safe, happy, and healthy. Have a great day, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hit a like, comment, subscribe. It goes a long way and it costs nothing to you guys. Thank you and we'll see you on the next one.